Hello everybody, my name is Eric. With me today is the final installment into an amazing trilogy. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. If you're interested in Aganorsa Anniversario Connecticut or many other Aganorsa cigars, check us out, you know where to find us. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash that button to be, make certain you're notified every time we create new content and you are getting the alert that it just came out. This cigar today uh, is the newest release, I should say, from Aganorsa Leaf. And uh, the label might look a little bit familiar, but it is vastly different from a lot of the other uh, cigars that have come within its line, as well as many blends that you all might have seen. This is the Aganor Salif Connecticut Anniversario in Robusto. This is a Robusto Grande, so it is a 5x54 soft box press. I mean, some would say stark, some would say soft. Maybe it's a bit more stark, but it's definitely in the box price range. For me personally, and I know there's a lot of debate going back and forth, in fact, I would love to know your thoughts. What is your opinion on box press? Now, box press originally came about by having the cigars rolled into that usual Parejo size, and then when they would be shipped off, they would place all the cigars into a box and close, and by having them kind of squished together while they're still pliable and there's still a lot of humidity within the cigar, that would press them into that shape, that box pressed shape. And so this is taking on that box press shape. I personally love box press. I feel like it's very comfortable. You can set the cigar down without it rolling away. So I know a lot of people playing golf like it, but this has been released in this. Now, three different sizes. In fact, we have, uh, I've tried the Toro and I've tried the Grand Robusto. And this is what I will say about our Aganor Salif, is they are constantly innovating and really creating cigars for multiple like price points, different pockets, and as well as uh, different palettes. And their portfolio is very vast, but they offer such high quality within those segments, it's hard to deny their worth and their like expertise when it comes to particular blends. This in particular was released at the PCA Trade Show. It is the most recent release covered by a gorgeous Connecticut Shade Grown wrapper. Now, when I say Connecticut Shade Grown, uh, basically when they grow Connecticut Shade, it's in Ecuador where there's natural cloud coverage. So that those clouds and all that sort of covering that happens while the tobacco is growing, it filters the sun and the strength, and so you get a smoother, sometimes creamier experience when you're enjoying a cigar. That is what is used as the wrapper here on the Aganorsa Connecticut. Uh, it is an Ecuadorian shade grown, very creamy, very light, almost like velvety as well. And the binder and fillers are from Nicaragua. Now, more than likely, even though the release says from just Nicaragua, more than likely, if it's coming from Aganorsa, you probably have some inflections of Corojo and Criollo, and it plays exceptionally nice with the cigar. In fact, when I had first uh, tried the cigar, I attended the PCA trade show, I caught some samples, took them back with me, and I was like, you know what, I'll circle back when I'm ready. Smoked about halfway through and fell in love with the cigar and decided, hey, we're going to go ahead and do it. Now, I've done another video on this before, but I wanted to sort of give you the spotlight introspection. I wanted to give you a more in-depth look at what this Anniversario is. Now, there are two others that they do that has and boasts the Anniversario line. There's a Maduro and there's a Corojo. Both I would put in the medium, maybe edging medium plus, where you're going to find the Connecticut more mild to medium. As I've said before, it's a great breakfast cigar. It's got creamy notes. It's got some nutty notes, some sweetness. And really smoking this with a cup of coffee is a really like elevated experience. Now, there are other Connecticut's within Aganorsa's portfolio. What sets this so apart? For me personally, what sets this above the others is the priming and smoothness of those tobaccos working together. You're gonna to find a bit more strength in the core line that they do. So for those of you who think maybe Aganorsa has too much of a punch or it's too medium, not sure exactly where you wanna go, you want something more mild, this is an excellent choice. I will also say it is a fantastic celebratory cigar. If you're perhaps at a wedding or if you're at an event, especially in the Gran Robusto size, it's not a huge like investment to sit down and smoke this five by 54 versus a longer cigar. But it's also extremely accessible to a multitude of palates because it has such great flavor. It's so like I said, those sweeter, creamier notes, but it's also not gonna overwhelm new smokers or be too strong uh, and perhaps turn off people who have not really been able to have a cigar before. So Anniversario is sort of an answer to, I believe, a call in a lot of the portfolio of Aganor Salif. 
and it's a great way to cap off the trilogy. You have this at its most mild, you have the Corojo in the more medium, and the Maduro medium, maybe medium plus. But an excellent cigar, and it's definitely one worth taking a look at, especially if you enjoy that box press, lighter, smoother, creamier coffee companion. That, to me, would be Aganorsa Anniversario by Aganorsa Leaf, the newest release from their factory. As always, thank you for joining us. We will see you next time on the channel of Oakland Tobacconist.